Okay, what I'm doing now is basically a mortal sin. I have shoes on in the house. Hi, uh... In Japan, ah! <laughs> so before y'all come for me, um, these shoes are actually brand new. I've had them for about a year, but like never actually wore them because they felt a little bit tight when I initially had them. Actually, I think my mom got me these shoes when I was back home and just gave them to me, but I just had never really broken into them. And so they've just been in the house this whole time. And every once in a while, I just kind of like wear them a little bit just to feel if I still feel like they're tight. And today, for the first time, I actually feel very comfortable in these shoes. I like these flats. These kinds of flats are very comfortable, easy to put on in the morning. And you know, it's almost time up for like closed off sneaker type, boot type shoes anyway. Cause it's springtime, honey. So this is probably what I'll be wearing just like on my normal day to day, going to work kind of vibe. So anyways, um, don't come for my edges. These shoes have never been outside. I'm just gonna keep wearing them for the rest of the afternoon just to like, keep breaking into them. Welcome to today's episode. Um, as you can see, we have a beautiful sunny day today. There are no clouds whatsoever. Yeah, I don't have the best view on this whole campus. Some people have like a nice ocean view i don't have that but this is still pretty good this is still pretty pretty nice so that's basically the buildings of our campus we've got tears guys um yeah welcome to today's episode of life and tea abroad today is the emperor's birthday so it's a public holiday in japan happy birthday to you and we're not at work we're not in the labs some people are in the labs and I will also probably go to the lab at some point today just to check on my samples but I've just had a nice morning in I would love to say that it was relaxing but honestly it really wasn't I had a lot of work to do a deadline at 2 p.m. which I just finished at like 12 30 p.m. and so yeah now I just took a nice shower kind of cleaned up a little bit and yeah that's kind of how i started my morning and i thought today i will just take you around and show you what i'm gonna be doing so this is a vlog i will be vlogging today and i hope that you're gonna enjoy what i have to show you it's, it's currently 2 p.m but yeah so we're gonna spend the rest of this day together right now i'm going to prepare lunch uh let's see what i have Remember in that video when I told you guys that I never really get rid of balloons until they're basically dying of natural causes? This is what I mean. This is now time to say goodbye to my birthday balloons. It's almost the end of February and I had this birthday party on the 13th of January. So yeah, more than a month. It's like a month and 10 days later and we're finally saying goodbye. Bye, little ones and obviously my trash bag is full I need to um, carry the trash outside so let me just tie it up and take it out Turns out we are out of the red plastic bags. So that means I've only got about one more week and then I have to buy new bags. 
Yeah, so in Japan, like every municipality has like specific bags that you can throw in a specific type of um, garbage. So this one is for the burnable trash, but you have to separate your trash and some goes into the non-burnable, recyclable, and so on and so forth. So the bags will be different colors. Some are green and the other ones are blue. But so the one we keep in the kitchen is the burnable trash because that's pretty much most of what we have. Okay, okay we're gonna make lunch. I have some pup guys sometimes I do be wanting pup and I just find it easy to have around the house because once I have pup I can pair it with milk I can pair it with vegetables and whatnot and this pup specifically actually came from Uganda because I have a friend who used to be an intern here then he left but then he got accepted as a PhD student so when he came back from his Uganda trip I asked him to bring me some maize meal and he got me a ton of maize meal like I think I'll be eating this for the rest of the year so shout out to Samuel and so I'm gonna be eating pup and I'm gonna check the fridge to see if I have any vegetables that I've already cooked if I don't I'll just make it with milk I just warmed up my kale um, it was in the fridge already I'm so happy that I didn't have to cook this from scratch but I made a bunch of this the other day and this is just simply kale with some red onions some garlic and then I added in a little bit of apple cider vinegar once it was done cooking and it just added a, a really nice soury taste to the kind of like the sweetness of the onion and then the sour taste of the apple cider vinegar just made a very nice thing in my mouth I, I'm not a food critic I don't know what to say but like yeah it's it's kale and I'm gonna be just putting in the pup on the plate and then I'll be ready to to eat So this is what I'm having for lunch um, and for those of you who don't know what pop is because I know a lot of my Western friends don't know what pop is it's essentially um, a stiff porridge made with maize meal so it's kind of like our staple food in Lesotho and most of the southern African countries I think they have uh, in Zimbabwe they call it sadza and I'm not sure why they what they call it in other countries but essentially it's maize meal and you stir it into boiling water and it until it makes a stiff um, kind of consistency and I mean you can enjoy it how you like it some people like it softer some people like it harder but yeah this is my lunch everyone and don't worry about the protein, um, I'll probably be having a meat-based dish in the evening, so don't worry about that. What do I do for a living? I see you, you oh yeah, that was, that was subtle, high touch. Okay. I see you brought a guest. <laughs> what a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, look <laughs>
so i wasn't kidding when i actually said lunch with a side of literature i do have to read this paper and that is because my professor and i are going to be discussing this paper in our one-on-one -on -one meeting tomorrow friday so i haven't really gotten far with this paper this you know i've just gotten to this bit and i still have a lot of pages left to go so yeah this is how much i still have left to go and we will see i'm hoping to finish it this very afternoon but like i said um i do want to go and get some sunshine at some point so we'll see how this goes wish me luck guys as you can see i have another book sitting at this table and that's the book i actually want to read but you know i have to read my research papers first So as I was saying, there's like a few things that I want to do before the sun actually sets. It's around 5 something p.m. now and I need to go a little bit to the lab as I mentioned. It's just for a quick checkup on some of my samples as well as checking up on my roommate samples. She's not around so I'm helping her to take care of her stuff. And so that should be like a quick 10 minutes in and out of the lab and then I also want to enjoy a little bit of sunshine today because I have not been outside at all the whole day so I just want to be outside before the sun sets so I'm gonna I think what I'll do is I'll just pack up my stuff and drive to the lab so that I can immediately just drive out from the lab and I'll go to like a nice beach nearby and then just chill out maybe actually I don't know maybe I'll just bring this um, this paper with me in case there's still a bit of sunlight I can read in there as well stop 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 uh, actually no I want to chill out I just want to chill when I'm there uh, I'm tired <laughs> it's been a long day it doesn't feel like a holiday so I think that's part of the reason I want to go outside is because I want to feel that it's a holiday yeah I have to get some sunshine all right check you on the other side okay on my way out I'm just going to take this trash so I can put it in the uh, collection trunk and then I'm just gonna go to the lab as I said I told you guys it was gonna be a quick in and out of the lab and yeah so now I am 
Now I am going to try and catch the sunset, baby. I think I have about 30 minutes before sunset. So I am gonna try my best to... Oh, hello. Oh, you need the car? <laughs> no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, so I'm gonna try and catch the sunset. I was just helping my friend out because he forgot his key card and yes you cannot get anywhere on this campus without a key card all right let's go as you can see the sun has already gone down i got here a little bit late because in fact i wasn't intending on coming here I was intending on going to a different beach, but it turns out they actually close at 6. I don't know why. And as I mentioned, like sunset is like 6.30. Um, so I had to drive around a little bit because I didn't just want to go to Tancha. That's like the neighborhood beach. I didn't want to go there. So basically at this point, I just sort of parked my car at a kombini and then I just wanted to take a walk. Then my sister called me and we had a good talk but then i didn't realize that girl the sun is going down so i didn't actually get to see the sun going down but we're seeing the afterglow and i think it's still beautiful um this area actually this area is very close to the tacos place that i talked about in my previous um video i think the video where i was having lunch and i was talking about blue entrance kitchen so blue entrance kitchen is like right in that direction over there I could basically walk there now um yeah so this is where i'm at and i am just gonna like sit here and chill for a little bit and just think <laughs> it's been a long day it's been a long day and i'm just like damn how is this a holiday it feels like i've worked harder than a normal weekday you know what i mean so i needed to get outside and i needed to just breathe in fresh air and see other people and do other things that are not indoors and not in my head as well so yeah so this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed this video and kind of like coming with me as i just do my normal daily chores my normal daily routines if you guys enjoy that just give it a thumbs up let me know that you enjoyed this content today and then that will also let youtube know that you're enjoying my content and it'll recommend it to other people so thank you very much for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next one bye This is so comfortable. I don't know that I'm allowed to do this, but this is comfortable. Wow. Also this, this lighting, guys. Are you seeing this? Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, for real this time. Bye guys, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. <laughs>